This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Thursday, August 31st, 2017. Euro dollar. So the euro has finally come under pressure after rallying up to a fresh plus two and a half year high above 120, trading up to as high as about 120.70 ahead of this latest pullback. On Tuesday, the market had put in a bearish reversal day after rallying all the way up above 120 to 120.71, 2017 high, before pulling back into the close to set up a bearish gravestone doji like formation, often indicative of a top, especially when a market's been rallying like the rally that we've been seeing in the euro. This set up the price action for a bearish move into Thursday, a Wednesday trade, with the market then collapsing on Wednesday, following through from that bearish price action. At this point, though, the uptrend here is still very, very much intact. And so any setbacks that we do see over the coming sessions, if we do see setbacks, should be very well supported in favor of continued upside. If we do see a breakdown below 116.63, that is right now key support for this market. That's the low going back to the 17th of August. That would be required to take the immediate pressure off the top side. So although there is risk for additional declines over the coming sessions, the market is expected to be well supported into this 116.63 area with only a break back below to put the pressure back on the downside. Until then, any setbacks are viewed as opportunities to look to buy for a higher low and fresh upside extension beyond 120.70 and towards what could be the next major upside extension into the 2150 area. Sterling dollar. Cable has been confined to a consolidation over the past several weeks. The market recently put in a 2017 high up around 132.70, but if you look at the price action going back to that breakout in April, the market's mostly been sideways, and so this choppy price action could continue. Overall, however, the structure does favor the top side following that breakout in April above that previous range high at 27.75, and so if we do see setbacks, they're expected to be well supported into the 126 area ahead of the next major upside extension towards the 135 to 140 area further up. Dollar Yen. So dollar yen has put in a nice little bottom in recent trade. The market had stalled out just shy of that 2017 low that was set back in April at 108.13. And so this does open the door for a resumption of a range trade with the possibility for an acceleration to the top side back towards that 114 to 115 area further up. We would need to see a break back above uh, the 111 area to confirm the pressure being taken off the downside and opening the door for an acceleration of gains. And until we see uh, the market establish above 111, it does leave the focus on the downside. So again, we are seeing the possible reversal here off these range lows, which we highlighted in the analysis uh, on uh, the Wednesday analysis, where we talked about dollar yen potentially on, on the verge of breaking up. But we would still need to see a break above 112, 111 to uh, strengthen that outlook and put the uh, focus on an acceleration towards the 114 to 115 area. If the market is unable to establish above 111, we could see another topside failure and breakdown. So it'll be interesting to see how things play out with dollar yen, but certainly given the recent price action, we're seeing the possibility of the formation of another bottom down here and a continuation of the range for a push back up towards the 114 to 115 area. Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss continues to be very well supported for the most part since the market put in that 2017 high, reaching the highest level since January of 2015. The high coming in at 115.39, the market's been sideways, but the structure is certainly constructive now following the breakout that we saw several days back above 112 and so setbacks are expected to be very well supported eventually for a break above the 115.39 high and towards 120 further up. Aussie dollar. So with Aussie we've been talking about the for possible formation of a lower top below that 2017 high just at above 80 at 80.66 and it looks like the market could be looking to put in this lower top now after stalling just shy of 80 on Wednesday. A breakdown and break back below 78.08 that's the low that we had seen back on the 15th of August would confirm the lower top just shy of 80 and open the door for the next major downside extension towards a measured move into the 76 area. 
Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has put in an impressive rebound in Wednesday trade with the market pushing back above 126. We had talked here about the possible formation of a uh, double bottom, which we're talking about here. Here's the neckline over here, a possible neckline. And so if a break above the 127.80 area occurs, it will trigger this neckline of the double bottom and open the door for an acceleration up towards a measured move, which now comes in at 131.45. Again, we had about 365 points down here of, uh, of range or, or bottoming. And so a break of the neckline would project a 365 point move to the top side, which comes in around that 31.50 area. Kiwi dollar. The New Zealand dollar continues to be under pressure since topping out by plus two year highs at 75.58. That was a high that was set back in late July. The market now establishing, trying to establish below 72, which is that next key level of support. And we could see an acceleration that ultimately takes this market all the way back down towards the 2017 low, which is a kind of range low back in the uh, 68 area. SPX 500. The S&P 500 hasn't done much over the past several sessions. There has been signs of a potential exhaustion here and the market putting in lower tops and lower lows. And right now the market's come back up and the question of course is whether we're going to put in a lower top now below the 2474 area previous lower top from the other week. Of course, this will need to be confirmed only on a break back below the low that we had seen down at around 2417. If we do see that break, it will be a significant one as it could open an acceleration below critical support at 2400. 2400 is the level to watch below. If the market closes below that level, it could get the, the um, wheels in motion for a more significant bearish structural shift in the S&P 500. Until then, the pressure remains on the top side and we could continue to see a push to fresh record highs. But again, it looks like the market showing signs of exhaustion and if we see another top side failure here, here and break down below 2417, um, look out uh, below. Gold. So gold has been consolidating off the recent breakout that we saw that surge through 1300 earlier this week. The market trading up to about the 1325, 1326 area. And of course, the focus now is on the 2016 peak, a retest of that level at 1375. Look for any setbacks that we do see, which could be quite significant given how gold has been so choppy up and down. But setbacks should now be supported ahead of the 1240 area in favor of a continuation of gains up towards and beyond. 1375, only back below 1200 would compromise the constructive outlook for gold.